A powerful ally is joining Maine's lobstermen in their legal fight against federal regulations that they say will seriously damage their industry. Good evening, everyone. I'm Cindy Williams. And I'm Pat Callahan. That ally is the Maine legislature, and the fight is over the closure of part of the lobster fishing season to protect right whales. It's all happening while lobster fishermen try to bounce back from two seasons and a market still affected by the pandemic. Last year, lobsters accounted for 48% of the total fish catch in Maine. More than 96.6 million pounds were caught, selling for just over $400 million at the dock. Now that sounds impressive, but when you look at the landings in the four previous years, all were well above 100 million pounds. In 2016 alone, 133 million pounds were caught, valued at more than $540 million. Maine lobstermen have a date in federal court next week in what may be a last ditch effort to block the closure of some prime lobstering territory as a way to protect right whales. The fishermen say the whales aren't there and that the closure will only hurt the lobstermen. And as News Center Maine's Don Kerrigan reports, now the legislature is getting involved. In some of Maine's big lobster harbors, the closure of nearly a thousand square miles of fishing territory is a big worry. Ginny Olson is with the Maine Lobstermen's Union. It's devastating to our members to not be able to fish their, fish, their winter ground. Um, that's just devastating. To protect endangered right whales, NOAA Fisheries has ordered a three-month closure of what's called Lobster Management Area 1, Along the mid coast, the closure to last from October 18th into January, normally the prime season for harvesting lots of lobsters. So the lobstering union is going to federal court next Friday, hoping to get a temporary restraining order to stop the closure. Now the Maine legislature is getting into it as well. Their leaders agreeing Thursday to tell the court the fishermen are right. I've had Noah in here. Um, and had a very open discussion about, uh, you know, right whales in Maine. And they literally told us that they do not fly over the Gulf of Maine anymore because they see no evidence to right whales in the Gulf of Maine. And then to turn around and make a decision like this, like it's going to save right whales, I don't believe it is. The court case is expected to center around whether there is adequate scientific reason to close fishing territory here. Even though Maine fishermen have long argued they are not a threat to the whales. Ginny Olson says the regulations and the closure are a threat to the fishermen. We've got members that have invested into their, you know, boats, repowered engines, prepared to, you know, fish these grounds, and then they're looking at not being able to fish them. Um, and it's, it's very costly. It's very costly. And it's, it's going to hurt a lot of Maine families. They're hoping the judge will agree and stop the closure, at least for now. Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. Now, this case is just one of the legal actions being taken against the federal government because of the right whale regulations. The Maine Lobstermen's Association has also sued the agency, challenging the scientific basis for all of these new rules. The Mills Administration is involved in yet in fighting yet another suit by environmental groups that want the regulations made even stricter.